Red Hot Pool Champion, Liberty Bell Danielle, as she faces the Glamazon, Beth Phoenix, in a non-title matchup. And boy howdy, has the Glamazon been catching hell lately? She is one of the top competitors in the women's division. And she's got double the proof you need. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring, accompanied by Pat E. Pow! Representing the Union from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, one half of the Women's World Tag Team Champions, the All-American Bell. Is the double champ. And now she has two women's divisions gunning for her gold. Yeah, but this superstar is more than up to the challenge. She came in unexpected, just a tag partner for Patty Powers, but that partnership's put Danielle Heathcote to the forefront of the ladies' division. Being a double champion can affect your career that way, I suppose. And she hasn't met a fight she's backed down from yet. That's another reason fans are getting behind American powers. She and Patty are as real as it gets. Safe to say that the Glamazon has inspired generations of superstars here in WWE. I think it's safe to say that Beth Phoenix is no longer interested in inspiring. She just wants to re-establish dominance. She's also got bigger biceps than you, Saxton. Oh, wait, I haven't mentioned mine lately. Beth Phoenix showing a more ruthless side of herself recently, entering and pacing and dropping her match to Patty Powers at Legends Showdown. And the Glamazon has made it plain. She's got no love whatsoever for Danielle Heath-Pote. Well, while this is a non-title matchup, let's not ignore that the champion has quite the chip on their shoulder coming into this. Yeah, they'll be able to walk out of this one with their title regardless, but you know they'd rather get the win and prove they really are the top dog in this division. You're right, Corey. They're definitely not going to want to be shown up in this one. Then you have Beth Phoenix, the Glamazon, a moniker that has never been more applicable to a superstar. Some could argue that no competitor has ever dominated the women's division as convincingly as Beth Phoenix. And if you happen to have an argument against that, you might not want to say it to Beth's face. Because she doesn't just look intimidating, that strength in our game is the real deal. She turns it around on Phoenix. Oh, what a nice strike. Saw it coming. Ooh, look at her. Oh, boy. Here it comes. Will she get it fully locked in? Oh, my God. Superhuman power. You got to respect her continued effort to get out of this, to continue fighting, to survive. Corey, I've got to know, how exactly does one overcome the unique skill set that Beth Phoenix brings to the table? Matching Phoenix's power is impossible, so go with the tried and true tactic of wearing her out. Speed, agility, those skills are out of the Glamazon's wheelhouse and should be considered your best bet. Goodness, shoulders down. Could she finally put this away? And she works the pin attempt in one. You expect these pins to last much longer at this stage in the match. Muay Thai clinch applied. Knees, lefts and rights, and then one to the gut. Close line. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Alley-oop. And Phoenix is in a state of distress. And credit where credit's due. She's wearing Phoenix out. The Glamazon on simply cannot match her speed and agility. Hooking her up. The volley of strikes. Ooh, clothesline delivered. 
This is what you call high risk, high reward. Here we go. Whoa, look out. You want to talk about putting it all on the line. Always an extra risk when you dive ringside. Oh, walloped by a huge club. Oh, and Beth fights back.